following is a history of EMS communications brought to you by PenCare Incorporated in celebration of our 25th anniversary. Each civilization has had its own distinctive forms of communication. For the ancient Egyptians, hieroglyphics were used to keep track of important events and record history. Several thousand years later, the printing press was invented, which was used to a great extent by the monks of the time. Fast forward to 40 years ago, and we arrive at the evolution of communications in emergency medical services. Up until the late 60s, most units had only in-vehicle two-way radios. Most early networks were developed by hospital associations for coordination of hospital disaster operations. Many significant changes were seeded in 1966 through 1968, with ambulance to hospital communications growing in importance. As advanced life support systems were introduced into the United States with the aid of biomedical telemetry systems. In the 80s and the 90s, portable radios hit the scene. They were large and clunky, but functioned wirelessly. This meant greater freedom while working in the field. As time passed, the devices got smaller and smaller. First, bag phones appeared, but were soon ousted by smaller phones that kept up with the times. Up until the mid-1990s, the world of emergency medical services was still very much behind the times. In 1994, the Rapid Report System, or the RRS, was introduced to the world of EMS. The Apple Newton, great-grandfather to the Apple iPad, was used to run this EMS reporting software. PenCare brings to the industry better software with our EMS advanced claims and our EMS charts, better vehicles with our Terrastar and our Patriot, and better equipment with our bariatric and patient loading equipment. The future is limited only by our own imagination. The more you learn, the more you want to become a part of our future.